Hi, my name is Nicole Lang and I'm the iGlide product manager here at iGUS Incorporated. And I'm Matt Mowry, Dryland Linear Bearing Product Manager for iGUS in North America. Today we're here because we can't be with you at Pack Expo. So we want to take you along on our trade show booth and show you products that are most useful in packaging applications. All of our iGUS bearing products offer dry running, lubrication free technology. They're guaranteed to offer a cost reduction and a technical improvement to your equipment. So let's get started. start with our semi-finished products. So similar to all iGlide materials, semi-finished products are meant for wear resistance. We're able to take our bar stock or our plate stock and machine custom prototypes for you. So you can see this table here, we've got some examples of some machined parts done directly out of our bar stock, plate stock in a variety of different materials, over 30 different materials including FDA compliant options. In addition to that in our semi-finish line, we also have tribal tape. Tribal tape is available with or without adhesive and can be die cut. You can see some examples on the moving table behind me. We've got some plate stock and some tribal tape moving along, keeping everything completely wear resistant, FDA compliant, with high chemical resistance and high temperature ratings. Now we're moving on to iGlide. So for iGlide, like everything else here at iGIS, all iGlide bearings are dry running. So they're self-lubricating, there's no need for external grease or lubrication, so no chance for contamination from the bearing or its lubrication. We offer a variety of different FDA compliant materials and some that are also EU directive compliant as well. So we have our standard sleeve flange and thrust washers available to you and FDA compliant options, but then we also took it a step further. So now we're offering our knife edge rollers, which we've had for a couple years. These were developed for the packaging industry for conveyor applications. They offer a tight deflection radii, and in addition to that, could significantly reduce the amount of required drive torque for your applications. The news for packaging is we now have an FDA compliant option available to you in our A250. In addition to that, we also have our A230 clip bearings. So clip bearings are very easily inserted into sheet metal. They have complete retention with the double flange, and these are also FDA compliant. And now we're going to take a quick look at our print lab. So similar to our semi-finished product, our print lab offers small batch orders or offers prototyping parts. And now we just received certification on our I6 material for FDA compliance. All of our SLS powders are developed by IGUS to be highly wear resistant. So these are not your typical SLS powders used in most 3D printers. And now let's move on to Zyros. So Zyros is our ball bearing line here at IGUS. Again, also self-lubricating. I feel a little bit like a broken record, but it's true of all of our products here at IGUS. So no need for any external lubrication. So Zyros is our ball bearing line. We offer these in a whole bunch of different varieties of everything you see here. In addition to that, most interesting for packaging customers would be conveyor rollers, offered with a whole host of different materials, everything from carbon fiber, aluminum, and PVC with a different ball bearing option available to each. We can offer these in FDA compliant materials as well. Last but certainly not least would be our IGUBAL product line. So our IGUBAL bearings are spherical bearings meant to compensate for any type of misalignment that you might have in your application. Newest to the IGUBAL line would be our food contact options. So perfect for packaging applications where there might be direct contact with food, we have an option available to you for that. We have everything from rod ends to clevis joints, two bolt and four bolt flanges, and the list goes on and on. With that being said, I'm now gonna pass it off to Matt to talk to you a little bit about Dryland. All right, so Dryland stands for dry running linear motion, and the packaging and food processing machinery industries are a very important segment for IGUS. We have several different geometries. I'll go through them pretty quick here. We have our Dryland R series, which is a series of round shaft bearings. These are dimensionally interchangeable with ball bearings. A nice thing about these products is that they work well on anodized aluminum shafting as well as softer stainless steels like 300 series, 304, 316, although they can also work on 440. Liner options, we have FDA compliant, we have high temp, we have special liners for wash down. So we're able to, to meet many of the demands of the packaging industry. We have a Dryland T system. This is based on a profile guide and it's dimensionally, again, dimensionally interchangeable with recirculating ball bearings but uses liners instead of balls for guidance. We have our low profile Dryland N series. 
This series is extremely popular, it goes down to about six millimeters of height and is ideal for maybe some sensor adjustments, smaller parts you're trying to move. And we have then our flagship Drylon W series. So Drylon W has two options, has many options really, it's very modular. We have a system that's based on a dual extrusion. You don't have to align rails during assembly, it makes assembly very quick and easy. We also offer this in a single rail version, including a 316 stainless version if you're looking for very high corrosion resistance. Other than that, its standard offering is in hard anodized aluminum. Lots of carriage options. We have carriages that have preload, as well as adjustable clearance to mitigate any clearance issues that you might see arising for your application. We also have actuators that we've based on several of these series platforms. The actuators are based on either lead screws or belt drives, as well as a few different gear rack systems. But we offer stepper motors, DC motors, brushless DC motors. We also offer the mounting kits in case you're mounting to a servo, which a lot of packaging industry machinery does mount to. We'll show you a few more of these towards the end. Commonly found in packaging machinery is the use of lead screws and lead screw nuts for format adjustments, for sensor positionings. We have three different main categories. We have Acme lead screws, we have metric Acme, also referred to as trapezoidal lead screws, as well as our own line of dry spin, which uses a 300 series stainless steel lead screw that's been optimized for better efficiency and wear resistance against our own iGlide polymer nuts. We have FDA compliant nuts. We have our standard yellow iGlide J material, which gets very phenomenal wear and lifetime results in many applications. We also have a very broad range of linear actuators, as I mentioned earlier, lead screw based, gear rack based, belt driven. We offer them in stainless steel options, hygienic design options for easy washdown. We have full on gantry systems, very low cost compared to linear ball bearings. And finally, I'll wrap it up just with a quick overview of our Delta robot. This is our Delta robot, it starts under $6,000. We have two different sizes, again, based on our low friction, lubrication free linear slides. All right, there you have it. Thanks for joining us for our Pack Expo 2020 virtual booth tour. Hope you saw some products that you might be interested in using to make a technical improvement on your equipment. For more information or to discuss any applications, please feel free to contact us. And for further details on the products we discussed today, please click on the link below. Thank you for watching.